I'm gonna join Team Gary V. Sort of. Right, so today was gonna be a shorter video because it's Friday following the Thursday light. Thir thir I can't even talk properly because I'm that tired. Thursday night, late night events here at uh, the Three Peak Garage Workshop, Scrapyard. You know the place. Um, yeah, so I haven't slept a lot, which is normal. If you stalk me on social media, then you would have seen what time I posted yesterday's video. If not, you can take a minute to go look now. So uh, yeah, th that's about normal for a Thursday night. And uh, yeah, I tried to sleep a little bit more this morning. That didn't work. But look, that doesn't matter. Because uh, I got you with the hook, more than likely. Um, and now you're watching me ramble on about just life. So while we're doing that, uh, I've also uh, recontracted my phone, which means that I have an iPhone 11 Pro coming, which was released today, but it's in transit, so it'll be here Monday. Anyway, getting on with it. So, look, I still have not heard anything back from um, VaynerMedia or Gary V. With the whole, I've mentioned it for a little while now, but the whole Gary V. Hire, Gary V. I can't, it's been so long, I don't even remember what it was. I think it was hashtag Gary V. Please hire me. Let's go with that. If it wasn't, then it's got to be pretty close to that. And you all know what I'm talking about anyway. Uh, I hope. If not, you can also take a minute to go familiarize yourself with that one. But look, this is going to be a long form video, I think. So what I will try to do with this one, even though I was going to try and go to bed early tonight, is I'm just going to talk. I'm going to explain. Um, the long form will go on YouTube and then the short forms will go on Instagram and Facebook or IGTV and Facebook. Watch. I still haven't quite got my head around Facebook Watch yet, but at least IGTV. So, yeah, I know these do appear on Facebook Watch as well, but I have no idea how that happens. Look, that's not important right now. Um, and you're probably wait wanting me to shut up with that and get on with it. Wait, that's a contradiction because I've got to talk to get on with it. But anyway, look, this is me just getting on with it. So, I, like I said, no official response to my job application, but I have come to the realization that... Uh, well, I explained when I applied and when I went public with it that, you know, it was actually more daunting and scarier if I were to get the job than if I wasn't. And now look, since then I've taken on tech contracting work to get back into the swing of IT, um, which is going really well and I'm enjoying that and it is keeping me incredibly busy. Um, but okay, point number one, I've realized that uh, there is still too much for me to do here in the workshop and scrapyard. Uh, for me to actually move to the other side of the world. Yeah. Probably should have realised that. Maybe was a bit too optimistic thinking that I could run this from over there through our staff. Jacob has been doing an incredible job with me being half present. Um, yeah. Where am I going with that? Either way, look, I need to sort out something for here if I were to move over there anyway. So that's not going to happen anytime soon. So yeah, that, that's point number one. But um, point number two is that I've realized that... Um, now look, I've talked about this extensively with Mrs. Scrapyard Techie, so I've kind of been over these points already. But uh, I think I talked to, about, uh, talked to my dad about it as well. Maybe a few other people. But anyway... Um, let me get back to subject because I'm getting sidetracked, but it doesn't matter because this is a long, -term, long form video so I can do that if I can speak properly. That'd be great. Let's get right on that. Um, so yeah, look, I, I've realized that uh, I've never really been the type of person to um, learn by working under somebody, if you know what I mean. I don't know if that makes sense or not. Um, so, well... Probably on its own, it doesn't make sense in my head because I was there. Um, look, I have always learned stuff best by going and actually doing it. Like, I started 3P, like, sure, there was the guy before me who ran a similar business, um, and I learned bits and pieces off him, but I never worked under him. Um, I just talked to him, got some info, and then later down the track, found some more info from him, and he showed me a few things here and there and gave me a bit of knowledge, which was great, but never worked under him. Um, stuff from my old jobs, uh, and particularly most of my IT knowledge. I haven't learned that by formal training. I haven't learned that by um, necessarily like going and finding someone who knows it and then trying to work alongside them. I've gone and tried it. So gone and, um, well look, the way I explained how I gained my IT knowledge was that I broke my own computers and stuff enough times to know how to fix them because it was then my problem. So like all the risk and... Um, everything to lose was on me. So I had to fix it, you know? 
but without affecting anybody else, really. Well, I don't think it did. Anyway, it wasn't good. Uh, well, it wasn't good, and then it was good, and now that means that I can help other people do the same, or do the same for other people. Anyway, look, so, um, and now that we've started the dot mill and sort of been taking on clients with that, uh, we are currently in the middle of a really big project for that one, which I won't name publicly yet, but like, it's huge. We're talking branding, website, um, logo, uh, well, that's part of branding, really, um, social media, well, actually, no, social media, they're kind of taking care of themselves, but like social media advertising when we get to that point. Um, and yeah, and possibly building funnels for it too. That's been an insane project, which has been taking up every spare minute of my life that I have with everything else going on. But that, that's been good because that's been an awesome learning experience and getting things done with that has been frustrating at times when things don't work the way that they should, which is common in technology, but that's a topic for another day. Um, but yeah, that's going well, but yeah, the, the thing with that though is even though we're starting to build the dot mill because it's digital marketing mostly and um, stuff like that, that can be done from anywhere in the world. But look, the point is it started, like it's begun and I'm not really learning it from anyone. It's learn by experience, learn by doing. Like that's the whole reason that I got into it in the first place because learning by doing, like I've done it for our business um, and now I'm taking bits and pieces of that and applying it to other people's businesses. So yeah, so that's going well. Um, and so far, I don't have to move to the other side of the world. But now look, I led in with, I'm joining Team Gary V, kind of. So, um, how do I explain this? There's currently a uh, campaign, which is, uh, I think it's hashtag join Team Gary V, which is that you could actually go and create content for them. And I don't mean like this, like with me and my ugly mug talking. I mean, you take their content, you cut it up, you create thumbnails, you format it right for each platform. Um, if you've been following along, you would have noticed that I mentioned earlier in the week that I need to format my content better for the individual platforms. Um, and like I've said, this being the long form video, I think this will end up on YouTube and then shorter clips will end up on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, it, it turns out that's exactly what they're looking for, for this whole join team Gary V thing. So you, you take one of their longer videos or bits and pieces of their videos. Um, they've given you the assets, so the logos, the intro sounds, stuff like that. Um, and you cut something together, you make a thumbnail, a title, you upload it to your social media, I think it is, and then you, you submit it to them. If they choose it, then they'll tag you and so on and so forth. Now look, part of my job application process, um, I realized afterwards that I did not add enough value to them. Much as it was a big thing for me to put my uh, goals and ambition out there on the other side of the world when nobody really knew that I was thinking like that yet, much as that's huge for me, that doesn't really bring value to them. This way I can help bring value to them. Um, at this point, let's just go with uh, Gary V. please don't hire me um, because like I said, I've got way too much to do here for now. So we'll go with that first. Um, but I'm still keen to do this other one, like the the join Gar uh, team Gary V. Yeah, that one. So that way I can still like add value to them and help them because I get a lot of that, a lot out of Gary V's content. I find it very helpful. I find um, I'm not going to blab on about that. Um, I just find that he's a really good person to follow and has really good advice. Now I am blabbing on about that. Just go follow him and you'll see what I mean. Uh, at least one of you has done that already. Joe, if you're watching, hi. I noticed what you've done there. Um, and uh, I think I got sidetracked again. How rude. Anyway, um, I'm going to shut up now, but that's the plan. Um, oh, from that also, I think that will help me learn how to do my content a little bit better as well. So add value to them, learn by experimentation by doing it, and also make changes to uh, my own content from what I learned. It's, I was going to say it's a vicious circle, but it's not really. It's a really good, helpful circle. Look, like this. Yeah. Anyway, so I don't know when that'll happen yet. Uh, I've been thinking about that for, I don't know, I think I saw about two weeks ago. Um, yeah, I still need to get on LinkedIn and TikTok as well, but uh, yeah, um, that's about it.
It's been almost 10 minutes, so I think I should wrap this up. Um, if you have any comments, questions, thoughts, you can contact me however you see fit. I'm sure there's plenty of ways to find that online. Um, my information is very public. And uh, yeah, if you want to see more, see what happens, you can follow and subscribe. And uh, I hope to see you next time. There'll be one more day until hopefully I'll be coming to you from an iPhone 11 Pro. So uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. That wasn't a name drop or anything. I'm kind of excited about it because I'm on an iPhone 7. So I'm, I'm a fair bit behind. And yeah, being techie, I want the new gear. Actually, you know what? I don't really want the new gear for the sake of having the new gear. I want the new gear for finding out exactly what it's like, what there is, how to use it, that kind of thing. More the curiosity more than anything else. Anyway, I'm blabbing again. So uh, yeah, if you want to see more of that, like I said, follow and subscribe. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks. Bye.